What's up guys, JV2017 here, and before we get started today, I had two things to talk about. First off, the reason I didn't have videos the past few days is because I was actually out of town on vacation, uh, so that's a thing, and uh, my intention was to make videos, but of course I was out of town, so I couldn't. So the reason I'm telling you guys that is because I am fully on board for making vidges. Uh, summer is fast approaching, it's pretty much already here for me. I just want to let you guys know, I am 100% on board. I am treating this sucker like it, you know, like I should. I have 40,000, you know, 43,000 subscribers. I really should be on the ball with what I'm doing and enjoying it. And that's what's happening right now. So I'm going to be on the ball for you guys. Daily stuff, perhaps two times a day. Uh, we'll work something out. And my new, my software actually got a new update that allows me to live stream straight through the software. So... The reason I really haven't live streamed in the past is because it's been a difficult ordeal. Lots of software, lots of that stuff, and I'm a pretty impatient person. I will completely admit that. So, it, I it was blah. I really didn't want to give it the time to figure out all that tech stuff. I could have, but I just didn't. And so now it's just that much easier. And so I'm pretty sure I want to start live streaming games. And I like to play games so quickly and so fast that. Uh, I kind of lose touch on when I should be uploading them and it's complicated and all that and some people like it uploaded quickly some people don't and it's really mixed up like that so uh, I'm gonna try to find a happy medium for uploading full games and stuff like that because that's something I want to get back to so in addition to commentary because that's where I started commentary and let's play so anyways the second thing I want to mention is this beastly gameplay this may loop around twice because of the length of this commentary but my buddy Avenge got a 19 and 0 gameplay, and he missed the first round on Search and Destroy. So this is 19 kills, zero deaths on Search. Very impressive gameplay. So if you guys enjoy this backdrop for my commentary. So without further ado, let's get into it. I want to talk to you guys about kind of the comparison between the Xbox One and the PS4. And I know this video will attract bandwagon hatred people who are all about. Oh, I prefer my PS4 because the Xbox One is just a television cable box, which is just silly. Like, shut up. Um, and, of course, this will attract Xbox One fans, even though I haven't even seen that. And this is actually a direct commentary. I thought about this because of the comments I read on my previous Xbox One videos. Now, it is my job, I feel, and I really create what I do with my job because I'm so lucky to have this YouTube commentating job it's barely even a job let's be honest but um it's my job in my opinion to speculate on news and rumors and blah 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 and provide my opinion on said news and rumors and these are rumors and news that i've been speculating on about the xbox one and my opinions are my own and just because my opinion may be mm, positive about you know the xbox one like i was you know at the time i will say that at the time, thoroughly impressed with the Xbox One after their press conference. And for some reason, that angers people. Like, what? What does that even... That doesn't even make sense. Like, you can't put that in a sentence and then be satisfied with that sentence and say that that sentence made sense. That does not make sense. It's all hatred-fueled people, I guess. But anyways, yeah, this commentary is directly formulated upon what I read in the comment sections of my previous Xbox One videos. And I just kind of wanted to clear the air on my opinions between the two consoles uh, as far as what they're bringing to the table and what kind of audiences they're targeting. So let's just very bla basic, plain and simple, plain and simple, I don't know. Um, the Xbox One is targeted towards the casual crowd. The casual crowd of buddies sitting on a couch playing video games. Um, occasionally, not hardcore, not all the time, but uh, it's it's geared towards a crowd that's going to want to play video games for a little bit and then switch to TV for a little bit and maybe go on their social networking sites, maybe Skype somebody, even though it's kind of weird to have on a console. Um, but yeah, it's geared towards that entertainment center. Xbox One and Microsoft wants to take over your living room and make it the only box that you need in there. And so that's really what the Xbox One is targeting. Now, the PS4 is in the completely opposite direction. The PS4 is targeting the core gamer, the people that 
pick up a game and play it for eight straight hours and beat the sucker on the same day that they pick it up. Uh, the gamer that goes to work, comes home, plays video games until they go to bed. Uh, the gamer that goes to school, comes home, plays video games until they go to bed, whatever, whatever it may be, spends all day long playing video games. It doesn't matter. Core gamers, that's where the PS4 uh, is targeting. So, and of course they've integrated some social networking, social media kind of stuff in there because obviously we live in a day and age where that's important to people. Maybe not me, even though I love Twitter, but yeah. So there you go. That's a very basic, brief overview of what these two consoles, who they are targeting. Now, I believe that the Xbox One and Microsoft, they probably had a different vision for what their console was going to kind of target. Maybe a happy medium between entertainment and gaming, but they probably saw what the PS4 had to bring to the table and were like, oh shit, we need to go in a complete, you know, other direction. Actually, that's probably not 100% true. But they were probably really shocked by the Sony press conference and how well it did with everybody. I mean, seriously, a lot of people were impressed, including myself, by the Sony press conference with the PS4. They showed off so many games. And see, the fact is, Microsoft barely showed off any games with their uh, press conference. I mean, they showed off Call of Duty, which is a multi-cross-platform game. So it's going to be available on the PS4. Now, of course, they don't get that DLC one month early deal, but, you know, it, it's it's going to be on the other console. And so the only game that they really showed was Forza. So, yeah. You can't really say that the Xbox One is geared towards core gamers because they spent half of the time showing off the fact that you could watch TV on it. Uh, they spent some time showing us Skype. They spent some time showing us the new, you know, Connect voice integration, which I think is really cool. I'm going to be, I mean, I'm excited about both consoles, absolutely. I'm going to be excited to be able to talk to my uh, to my Xbox One. I think that's really cool. Um, and then they spent a lot of time, or very little time, on uh, their one exclusive that they showed, which was Quantum Break. We don't know anything about it. And then they showed EA, so sports stuff. So when you really chalk it up the conference from microsoft about the xbox one was connect tv one exclusive uh a teaser and then call of duty and then sports so really the fact is is that microsoft if they wanted to release a console that was even aimed towards core console gamers they did not they did not achieve that goal and i don't think they had that goal in mind they're smarter than that so, really, the Xbox One is not geared towards the core gamer. And I would call myself a core gamer, but I also love to watch my shows. I love to watch TV. I love to, you know, do that sort of thing. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be some sweet Netflix app on both consoles, so I'm sure that's that's not really a uh, something that's going to push me more towards the Xbox One because it will be offered on both both consoles because it is already on both the PS4 or PS3 and the Xbox 360. So I think really the thing I want to end off on and come to some kind of conclusion is that I'm going to buy both. I'm fairly sure that at some point I will buy both because there are wonderful exclusives on both consoles. And what will I buy more games for? Probably the console that more of my friends own. Because believe it or not, and I don't know why I'm trying to convince you guys because you guys are gamers like me, Xbox and PS3, or both consoles, gaming in general now is a social experience as well as a uh, single player, you know, just gaming experience, core gaming. So I will undoubtedly be purchasing and playing the console that more of my friends will be purchasing and playing before the other one. I don't know which one that'll be because I don't know yet. So that's really my stance on what I'm going to be buying first and what I think about each console and their conferences and whatnot at this moment in time. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, as always, remember to leave a like and leave a suggestion for another random topic that you want me to talk about. It could be anything. I don't care. Uh, just give me something to talk about, and I'll talk about it, and I'll give you credit for it. So anyways, guys, thanks again to Avenge for this gameplay, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Peace.